The market for battery energy storage systems is growing rapidly. And with the UK government scrapping VAT charges back in February, it's only set to continue growing. But we've got a few questions like, where do you start? How much do you need? And what are the benefits anyway? Welcome to the Everything Electric show. Love Everything Electric? Then join us live in Canada this September, the South in October, and Australia and London in 2025. So what is a battery energy storage system? In simple terms, a battery energy storage system allows you to store surplus electricity for later consumption. When combined with solar panels, the batteries allow you to store energy generated during the day for use at a later time, thus reducing the degree of dependency on the electricity grid. They can also guarantee continuity during power cuts. Pure Drive Energy, Duracell. Two names that we recognise, they've come together. Tell us about that story. Yeah, so we, we've, well, we've been around here now for about eight years, the company. Uh, and my background is uh, in material science. So it's actually what goes into a battery. And then I decided about seven or eight years ago that I had a burning desire uh, to have my own business, that's for one. Uh, but I did want to become increasingly independent from the grid and battery storage at the time uh, was something I wanted to do. So fast forward a little bit for a few years uh, and Duracell approached uh, us about now 18 months ago uh, and asked us if we wanted to uh, design, develop and distribute and make uh, a home battery system but also an EV charger as well. So what products do you have within the Duracell home energy portfolio? So uh, we have the battery itself uh, the inverter that's associated with the battery, uh, EV charger, uh, and our app. Um, and then we've got new products coming out as well. That's what we're positioning ourselves for, is uh, to be that home uh, ecosystem. Because uh, the, the more of those key uh, products that you can integrate, uh, then the more, the, more uh, the homeowner can save and the more use you get out of your re renewable systems, whether it's solar or wind turbine. We've always tried to be a little bit ahead of the market to be able to differentiate ourselves. So that will be with respect to life of the battery, uh, its C rating, which is how quickly it can charge and discharge. That's becoming more important now as homeowners want to charge their batteries really quickly to get as much cheap energy as they can do. It's modular, it's very modular. So I think it's the most modular product on the market at the moment. So I can put 32 of these five kilowatt hour batteries together. Not that you'll need that. But okay. you could, potentially. But you could. And, uh, and you can mount it in different ways. Again, that's more of an installer or an aesthetic. Uh, so people might want it on its wall, but if you're limited for space, I always think that looks quite nice. If you've got uh, two or three batteries, you put them on the wall. But if you have more, uh, four, five or six, and you, you're limited in space, you can also stack these. And it's the only battery on the market that gives you both of those options. So we've got a few questions. We've, we've reached out to our fully charged audience to try and find out some of the burning questions that people have. And some of these are deeply selfishly motivated as someone who is looking at what I should install in my own property. But to kick us off, what do you say to people who say, well, why should I get a battery? So generally, people are getting a battery to go alongside their uh, solar install. And that's where it all really started. Uh, so if you look at an average home uh, with a solar panel installation, you're only probably going to absorb about 30% of the energy. 70% uh, of that gets exported to the grid. You, you generate energy in the day, uh, but uh, you use it in the morning and the evening. So only 30% gets absorbed. So the battery uh, came into the marketplace to absorb that excess energy and it turns it from a 30% to 60% uh, and if it, for an average install that's about 60% of the bill as well on average home. Uh, so th that was the original uh, intention and then uh, quite recently, maybe a couple of years ago, the energy suppliers then brought out these variable rate tariffs uh, offering uh, cheaper rates at certain uh, times of the day, usually in the early, early hours of the morning. Um, so you can take that 60% to about an 85% saving when you start operating uh, variable rate tariffs. But does this make sense if you don't have a solar array? Can you still stand to benefit and actually have savings on your energy bills? So it depends what you want. You can just put a battery in, but you have to be aware that those tariffs might change at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. And that's already happened. Uh, so I always recommend um, it's a mix. Okay, If you can, put solar panels in. 
that makes you in increasingly independent from the grid. It gives you that capability. The battery saves excess energy and you're about 60% of the way there of being off the grid. And the rest I would treat as being variable. And I think we're quite unique in what we do is that we do the software uh, for uh, variable rate tariffs. And quite, quite uniquely, we do that software. It's not the energy supplier. Uh, and we, we're agnostic of energy suppliers. Uh, so the homeowner can come to us and they might have been attracted to one particular tariff from an energy supplier, but their circumstances change or the tariff changes and we can simply swap them. Okay, onto, the, onto an energy uh, tariff that they, that they want to get on and operate that system from here. But how do you know how much you need? So uh, when people understand, you need to understand how much energy a solar, uh, a solar array generates, how much a home consumes it. An average installation of a solar array is about 10 kilowatt hours too. Okay, and an average home uses 10 kilowatt hours. So then I talk about the, a standard uh, battery is about 5 kilowatt hours. So if I have two of those, Okay, that would provide all my needs to the house. Okay, just the battery on its own. And if I was to charge that with cheap energy, okay, I'm going to reduce my bill roughly, okay, from a £1,600 bill, because an average home consumes about 10 kilowatt hours of energy a day, uh, so 3650 a year. So I'm going to reduce my bill from about £1,600 to £400, potentially, just by charging it with cheap energy. Uh, that, that's the missing link at the moment, is for a homeowner to make informed decisions. Uh, and so we have this uh, quoting tool called DEPS, uh, and it's, they can, a homeowner can get a quote in 30 seconds. Uh, so very quickly they can understand, and they can add a battery and take away a battery uh, to see what the impact of the cost and also the savings. And I think this will accelerate, uh, hopefully accelerate, uh, uh, the homeowner's understanding okay, of the systems themselves. Uh, but allow them to make a much more informed decision. And so, say someone has this uh, Duracell Home Energy ecosystem, but they also have various other smart things within their home, say it's a smart dishwasher or smart lighting. How do those things integrate together? Can they integrate together so you can be really smart with how <coughs> you're using energy across the home? Yeah, so that's, that's an important, you see, you can develop your own ecosystem, but you need, need, need to be able to integrate with other products. So we uh, do that through our APIs. We can integrate with any other company, either it's an energy supplier um, or any third party or product, okay, through our API interface. Uh, and that enables a homeowner to then uh, look at the whole ecosystem through one app. And where can you install them? Yeah, so it depends on the battery. So you have to look at its IP rating. Uh, IP rating 65 enables it to go outdoors. Uh, there are some disadvantages at to some, uh, sometimes as well uh, because lithium, which predominantly is the, the chemistry of choice at the moment, uh, doesn't operate very well at lower temperatures. It doesn't operate at all at zero. Uh, we fix that with our new, our, our new battery systems. Um, so you have to have a look at one, it, what's the IP rating, can it go outside, and then are you willing to take a, a performance D rating when you might put it outside too. What advice would you give to people looking for an installer? And so we have something like 60 platinum partners uh, that um, are trained to an extremely high level. Um, and so that, that's what I would say to a homeowner, to answer your question, is to seek one of our platinum partners that have been really trained uh, and understand what they're doing. I can understand that. Uh, tell the homeowner the benefits of the product as well. I suppose get that right first time and the number of callbacks are going to be substantially less, which is convenient for everyone. The, the Duracell brand carries like a heavy weight of responsibility with respect to the expectations of a homeowner. I think when they look at Duracell, they're, they're thinking um, high performing. Uh, we're going to be around uh, for some time uh, to be able to support them on this journey. And I think it is a journey uh, that we're taking also with these uh, renewable systems. No question, UK homes are going green. And in fact, last year surpassed every other year on record for the number of low carbon energy and heating solutions. Now, hopefully we've managed to answer at least some of your questions around home energy batteries, but there you have it. That's all we have time for. So please do make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have been, thank you for watching.